I gotta get to the gym. I'm your brain and I'm here to protect you. I think we should go back to sleep. Go ahead, press news. Yeah. As the heart, I'm a little torn, but I also know that I'll feel more alive once I get popping. what the heart wants. I have about 80,000 thoughts a day, and right now, three of them are sleep, sleep, sleep. Mm, no. Good morning, good morning. It's your higher self. Can you tell her to come back later? She doesn't work like that. She works 24-7. <sighs> Don't everyone jump out of bed all at once to see me. <laughs> Brain, your mental health matters. Heart, your emotional well-being matters just as much. And you, my dear, you have one body in this lifetime to get you around this thing called life. So we get to take care of it. That, nah, she does have a point. Our brain will have more focus if we move our body. She's right. We should get our heart rate up at least once a day. Okay, 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 okay. You win. Where'd you get those wings? Oh! <laughs> Amazon. Prime, of course. I'm always safe. I'm always loved, even at the gym. So here I am getting silly to perhaps open your eyes to a new way of looking at how we operate as the sum of our parts. Because at any given moment, all of these things are operating. The head, the heart, the soul. The head is really great at getting stuff done, paying bills, it's also creative. But if we get a little too heady, we can get stuck there. The heart is beautiful at guiding us through some really tough times to make the right decisions but then we can also get heartbroken at the end of the day or the beginning of the day, like in this scene, the higher self always knows the answers. Consider your higher self, your personal cheerleader. Perhaps consider getting a pair of wings and trying them on and let your higher self 